to just vibe vibes welcome let's talk about love island australia okay i have a lot of things to talk about because i have missed i think three two episodes seven and eight i think i've not talked about that and by the way i didn't know that the episode always ends on thursday if i would have done another one i would have done this yesterday because i missed the seventh one i couldn't do it on time because i had work to do so i was like okay i'm gonna do i'm just gonna do it at the end but i thought they had one on friday but i was so busy on friday i didn't check so then i said okay since i'm gonna do it today let me check today but then when i checked it was only two that they have okay so that's what we're talking about it now so today is episode seven and eight i'm just gonna join them together because at the end of the day they were all kind of about the same thing okay so i'm gonna start with the whole i have written let me just talk about the couples first jess taku and what is his name now aaron jess is just like i like the way that aaron showed how he felt like okay he's you know what i mean he's out he says his mind and jess is lucky i would say because in love island it's not about beauty it's not about anything you can be the most beautiful girl in love island and nobody's interested in you it does happen a lot of times like look at it courtney is actually very beautiful and ari is also very beautiful so although not someone is interested in her but you understand what i mean you can be the most beautiful girl in, in love island and sometimes when those warm shell come in is like the guy's head just turn because like this could be something better it's always that the grass is green on the other side mentality oh i've not tried this so how do i know that this would not have been a better fit for me especially when it comes to the guys mostly in love island i notice that the girls mostly stick there are a few times when the girls don't but most of the girls stick is the guys that always have a wandering eyes just kind of like in normal re re reality i know that also in normal reality girls eyes girls don't stick like that sometimes but trust me in, in love island is always the guys that are like okay this could be better this could be better this could be better most times because if the girls don't like someone you would know they would not over you know familiarize with the person they're going to give you a kind of reaction it's kind of like tina Tina didn't like running like that. You can tell that she did. She wasn't that into him because she was giving him the whole, ah, oh, we're waiting for something better to come along kind of, um, kind of behavior. Whenever he talks, she find him irritating and all of that. But he was one hundred percent all into her. And then the moment Mitch came, she was like, okay, I've, like I'm not that into you, so I'm going for Mitch. And that is part of the reason why I'm sorry that everybody is like, oh, uh, Portina, Portina. I don't feel Portina. I don't know if maybe this love in Australia. I really do not have anybody that I am rooting like I will not say rooting for. Like I'm I'm not putting my emotions in it. It's kind of like I'm just watching a show and I'm looking at the entertaining factor of the show. So I might sound like someone that doesn't care because I'm trying not to because I've watched like if I continue doing all this shows review and I keep on putting my emotions in it, it's not gonna work because I'll just be getting sad and all that and I don't want that. So for me, I feel like when it comes to Tina, Mitch, and Emily, so let's talk about them. So for Tina, Mitch, and Emily, I do feel like Emily has to do what is right for her. And Tina, all those cry, cry, cry. I understand that she's emotional and you're supposed to cry. But somehow it's kind of like she was, the crying was, sometimes you can cry behind someone's back, not in the face, everywhere. You're crying in front of them too much. In a way whereby it's kind of like you're literally begging, please don't choose him. The girl is still going to choose who she's going to choose. The reason why mitch was feeling bad emily was also feeling bad was because they felt like you might go home that's what they thought was going to happen like you were going to be dumb but still they still did it anyway so it's all those kinds of like crocodile tears and you the moment that you know that you're safe even if like you cried a little bit when um when you were being asked you did not cry as hard as you were crying before because you thought you were going home so that was also the fact that the moment you knew that okay you might not be going home now you were a bit feeling strong not cry cry like before and mitch what is this cry about oh i feel bad you have the like you know deep down let's be honest i understand that people are thinking of tina and mitch i say emily came to steal mitch no mitch wanted to be stolen mitch was wishing that emily was there maybe when he had to pick so you could have just picked emily from the beginning or maybe he was wishing for a different situation all together because he wants emily but he doesn't want to hurt tina because tina has not done anything bad to him he kept on there's nothing that tina has done that would make him not to be interested in her he even said to her you are faultless to me because he's trying to pick what what can i give as a reason there's nothing nada nothing so that's what i think happened okay let me see is there any other couple that um hmm ronnie courtney and ari hmm <sighs> courtney being pissed that like you know a bit obviously she wore her she wears her emotion on her sleeve and ari and courtney at the moment are my best girls so 
um yeah so ronnie trying to choose between the both of them i felt like courtney was not that into him but ronnie's kind of a sweet person after some time you kind of start feeling him and that love island situation is not a normal situation it's kind of like a what do you call that a ooh, there's a word you call something in computer a simulation it's kind of like a simulation kind of environment you know what i mean i think that is what it is so it's not normal it's not natural so emotions are heightened it's like when you can when you when you're on your own you have to be coupled up so at the end of the day your whole goal it's kind of like in those days when people have to marry right people are not just dating you cannot have a child like no people are marrying so people are married at 16 17 very young people were getting married because as you grow up the next is way to get married and have children the only you know for a guy to have sex mostly is to get married you know for him to be able to uh, i'm not saying that people so because of that there was more marriages because people's all this is marry 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 but now marriages are not like that because now there are options you can have sex for free everywhere there's sex 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 sex, sex. everything is kind of like so people are not marrying anymore like that like it's not like people used to marry so it's kind of like that kind of situation you need to be coupled up so everybody's looking forward to couple. So when you feel a little bit of connection with someone, you're like, oh, this might be the best person. And then if there's not that person to couple up with you, you're like, oh, this is the best. It's like you start feeling emotions that you wouldn't feel on a normal day. So that's why I think it's happening. And um Ryan and Lexi going into the whole um what do you call that? The private area. Like, I I did feel like they had sex though, but I, I'm glad they didn't say it but i feel like that makeup session was just too serious for me i don't know maybe i'm just projecting <laughs> but i feel like they are seated together i like the fact that ryan really really likes her and he's saying that I, I'm, I'm happy that he's relaxing now because it's better to be someone that you have feelings for than someone that you don't but now lexi might be going home so hmm is it lexi or rebecca in their app they did put the picture that had rebecca but i think he's rebecca so i don't know is it lexi or rebecca that is going home i kind of i mean i said rebecca rachel <laughs> wow rebecca <laughs> rachel i kind of want rachel to stay i'm sorry lexi can go i want rachel to stay and i'm happy that courtney stayed because courtney for me like, huh, when taco was giving his speech i was so sure he was talking about courtney i even wrote down courtney and taco because i was asking people that are coupled together like when did tina become the life of the villa i'm sorry courtney is the one that is the life of the villa courtney is the one that's always checking up on you taku seriously if i'm courtney i am my friendship with you all with you we're just gonna reduce i'm sorry because is it because tina was crying all day is that why because that so now you feel like she needs to follow so courtney does not need to find love courtney always checking on you making sure you're okay courtney always has a one-liner even when she was didn't know she was saying you can see her she's more of the life of the villa than tina is i am sorry for people that like i'm telling you i'm emotionless on this thing so i'm not putting i know people might have their favorite but i feel like courtney is more of a life of the villa but at the end of the day is love island so anybody can go except this taku <laughs> God, I don't know if Taku go what is gonna be there. I'm sorry, like Taku. Taku is a lot of fun, but Courtney is also a lot of fun. I feel like, honestly, Courtney and Taku are the most one liner. You know, like always have something to say in that villa. I feel like they're the they should be protected at all costs because without them, I don't know what will happen in the villa. Honestly, so I'm happy that Courtney is safe and Taku. You can stay, stay with Tina while she cries every day about another man. Hmm? Okay, so that was that. Um. Ari and Ronnie, I don't know. I feel like if Ronnie gives her one hundred percent, Ari might give will give him one hundred percent. So both of them, they are kind of from the beginning, but they all in kind of people. So I do see them staying together. And then I uh, love Royal and Australia app um, on Instagram. I did check on IG and I saw a video of Je uh, Lexi and Rachel. I think uh, everybody was crying because on Monday they might be, and uh, one of them is going to go home because I think they had the lower votes from the from australia but then i checked today i didn't see it again so i know that that's there so i feel like they made a mistake showing that they shouldn't have shown that's that they could have yeah when we they showed that's that we cannot wait for monday however them showing it is kind of good but somehow i would like to our uh, hearts beat for them to say one of the girls with the lowest vote will be then they put all the girls out then all of us will be like my favorite my favorite except me now that I don't really have a favorite and courtney is safe and i know that Ari people vote Ari, so uh, I don't know if I is even my favorite anymore. She was my favorite the first day. Then Courtney was my favorite the second day. So honestly, Antaku obviously has been my favorite all three because of 
his personality you know so that is it so it's mostly on personality that i'm liking people not on their emotional love connection and all of that but somehow if they ask me who do i want to go home i think lexi should go home and i feel like if ryan likes her that much then he should go with her mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's what i feel like if he likes her that much then he should go with her because we all know that all this love blah 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 that i'm talking about most of the most of the time when they come out they might stay together for a bit because of the endorsement deals and all that before you know they're broken up the only couple from Love Island, I don't know of season two because I didn't watch Love Island Australia season two. But the only ones that are together now from Love Island is Emilia, Emily or Emilia and from season one. And what's this guy's name that I like him but I've forgotten his name. He has blonde hair. I forgot his name. He was so sweet and he couldn't find love then. I forgot how I imagine I remember Emilia's name, but I don't remember his name. But I follow both of them still on IG. So those are the only two people that have stayed. So I don't know if season two what happened, but most of these love are just fake. They are just in a simulation. So they have to couple up after when they go out to the real world. They're like, no, I don't like you. No, I don't like you. But I feel like if they make it in that kind of situation, they've seen everything about each other, then there's a high chance that they're going to make it out there if they really, really honestly like each other. So that is that for episode seven and six. I want to talk about the games that they were playing. I feel like the whole, um, for the coupling, rather, that's that for the coupling part. I feel like the whole truth bike thing, Mitch was the only one that was not saying the truth. But I understand him. He was really in a hard situation. Like, would you say the truth? Like, he's going to hurt. No matter what he says, he's going to hurt one person. But I know that he's a minute that he likes the most. But now with Tina always crying, crying. I don't know if he's even going to give him a chance to actually be able to really, really give him a chance by seeing him actually giving. Because I have seen all these crocodile tears before. And then before you know, the next person they are coupling up, kissing, blah, blah, and just forgetting. And one thing I can't understand about Love Island is one of the reasons why I know for a fact that I cannot be in that kind of situation is you will like someone, you're the person I have had connection, you've slept to a bed, you've kissed, you feel like something's going, you feel like okay, this is going to be my couple, we're going to be together to the end of the show at least, and maybe make something out there. And then someone else is going to come. The person is going to be interested. The person is going to go. Then they're going to spend night together. Then they're going to come and be gushing about it to your face. Like when Lexi was talking about it to Ari's face, I was like, and then Ari was like, uh uh, 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 I don't think they would just call me a hater because I don't see myself smiling. Like, how do you get over someone that I don't know? Mm, that part I don't understand. Eh? And then um, I'm trying to see what game did they play. Because they had different games that they played. So I think the uh, the uh, truth bike was one of the ones. And then there's another game that they played, which was uh, the dancing one, where Emily killed it. Emily is very flirty and very sexual, and I like her. I feel like she can get, oh, like when she was talking to me that time, hmm, I thought he had a boner. He might have. I like her. She's very flirty. She's, I like Emily. I like all the girls, actually. Yeah, but if one of them have to go between Rachel and Lexi, I feel like Lexi should go. Then Ryan should either go with her or maybe we can start his journey from the scratch. How about that? So that is that. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you some other time. Bye-bye.